Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video by me and Ether324. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new uh, transfers that have happened this week. There are some insane transfers and anyways guys, let's take a look. First up, we have the brand new most expensive player in the history of football. We have Paul Pogba. Pogba has gone to Man United for a fee of 89 million pounds. And he has beaten the world record that was, I think, 85 million pounds for Bale. I think this is a bit too much. Um, uh, don't get me wrong, Pogba is an amazing player and an amazing talent. But I think it's just a bit too much. I think 80 million pounds would be quite enough to get Pogba. But in today's market, I don't know what's going on in today's uh, FIFA, sorry, football market. A lot of players are going for much more than they actually are worth. But don't get me wrong, Pogba is an amazing transfer for Man United. I think Man United will enjoy every second they're gonna, they're gonna get with Pogba because they really need a very strong and versatile midfielder. Up next is Balazi, the five-star skiller, has joined Everton for a fee of 28 million pounds, which I think it's a pretty damn um, great move for uh, both Everton and uh, Balazi. But I think it's it's a bit uh, overpaid. I think they overpaid a bit. I'm not sure, but still, it's a pretty damn good uh, signing, and I think Everton will enjoy uh, having him in the team. Next, we have Vermalen, who has joined uh, AS Roma for a season-long loan. I think it's a pretty good move for Vermalen, and it's a smart way of Barcelona getting rid of him for a season or two. He has gone to Roma and I think it's good because he's not going to spend the whole year on the bench. He might get a bit of play time. And I, to be honest, I'm really happy for Vermaelen. Uh, he's not just going to be doing nothing for a whole year. Up next, we have the second most expensive defender of all time. We have John Stones, who has joined Manchester City for a fee of 37.5 million pounds. Now, this is quite surprising. I didn't expect um, uh, Man City paying that much money for this guy, but apparently Pep Guardiola really um, is a big fan of this guy. Um, I think uh, Everton might be the, the happiest club at the moment. They got a lot of money um, uh, for a player that isn't as expensive as he as as the other team paid for but still it's a pretty good uh, move for uh, Manchester City and that can mean the last days for Mangala at the club up next we have Joan Stones uh, replacement it's uh, Ashley Williams such a great player he has joined um, um, Everton for a fee of 12 million pounds from uh, Swansea and guys, this is a huge loss for Swansea. This guy was a rock at the back for them. He was very, very good. And now he has joined Everton. I think Everton were quite smart um, by doing this. They sold a young player um, uh, to a big club for a lot of money and they got a veteran uh, defender that has proven himself in the league. Great business, in my opinion. Finally, we have Llorente, who has just joined Swansea from uh, Sevilla uh, for an undisclosed fee. Um, I think he'll do a pretty good job. Apparently, um, a lot of people saying that are saying that uh, Swansea are depending on this guy to help him to help them survive in the uh, Premier League. That's what I read. And also, this guy already missed a very easy shot on goal um, on his debut, which is not a good sign. But let's see what he can do. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. I'm out.